Hey basketball coaches and basketball players, today I'm going to give you some fantastic basketball drills if you're looking to run the dribble drive motion offense. This is actually a pretty easy offense to run and there's actually some pretty great drills that you could run in your practice that will actually teach your players how to run the offense but also work on their skills like shooting. Let's get down to the clipboard, let's check these out. Okay, so first what we're going to have is two players out on the perimeter and we're going to have a coach or another player down in near the net. So basically what we're doing here is having player one, he's going to dribble drive towards that, that free throw line extended and three point line area. Player five is going to run up. This is going to be a handoff, not a dribble handoff, just a handoff to player five. If you don't know what the offense is, I'll tell you right now, go check out the card up above and that's going to lead you to the actual offense itself. Now, player one is going to go out towards this corner and player five is going to take that shot. Meanwhile, player one is going to pass, player one blew the ball and he's going to follow his pass and contest that shot. What I want to see now is after that shot goes up is player one, he's going to go and get both rebounds. They better be both good shots. If you want, you can have a coach also helping with the rebounds. And now player one is going to go out and he is going to be the player out here. Now after one of those rebounds, we're going to pass out to player five and player one is going to be ready down here again now. Player 5, Blue, is going to go and attack again, and we're going to be doing this same drill once again. However, now Player 5 is the one who's shooting. Player 1 is the one going and clearing out or closing out on that shot. And now Player 5 is going to get that rebound, and Player 1, Blue, is out on this wing, and Player 1, Red, is up top. Now, this way, we've got three players who are practicing this drill. Now, if you've got a couple of other nets around in your gym... And you can have three players cycling through on each couple of nets. Now you've got the team essentially working on that whole first half of the actual basic play of the dribble drive motion offense. Now this is great because now they're learning each individual position on the court. Plus they're also learning how to shoot the ball or at least getting reps when it comes to shooting the ball. So what we're learning in this drill is part of that play, the dribble drive offense, but also we're getting our reps for shooting and then that player who's passing that ball out, that player is learning how to close out on the shot. We want him to stutter his feet coming out so that he's not jumping and whatever else for that ball because it's a three point shot. We want him to close out with that hand up, stutter stepping, and then boxing out. And then we've got that player who's shooting, who's running in to get that rebound, because now we're learning how to take that shot and then chase after just in case we miss our shot. Now this next drill is another fantastic drill that you're gonna absolutely love. Now this next drill is just an addition on after we run through that first drill a few times. So now what we're going to have is player one, we're going to have him start out at the free throw line extended and he's going to cut across the free throw line. At the same time, we're going to have player one cutting across and player five cutting across. What I want to see happen is player one, he is going to go and then decide to pass to player five or to player one. If player five gets that ball, we are gonna have a coach who's here and he's going to be standing straight up and contesting that layup. Now player one is going to continue out and player five is going to get that rebound and he's going to pass out to player one. Now he's going to be switching with player one and player five. Now. Again, we're going to run this through again. Player one is going to be cutting across. We really want him to stay roughly around that middle of the free throw line. Player one and five are going to be cutting across. And again, same idea. He's going to decide if he passes out to player five. What I want to see happen is player one to now contest that shot. 
So I want him to stutter step out and contest that shot to go up. Player 5 is going to then follow his shot. And at this time, player 1 is going to be going out and he's going to be covering the 3 point line. And now player 5 gets his rebound. He's going to dribble out and now he is going to be the one who was that initial wing player because that wing player comes up, he gets that ball, then he cuts across. That's how the offense works. And, well, at least the basics of it works. And then, he's going to then dribble across. And again, we are teaching our team every single position. Because I'm a huge fan of teaching every single player every single position on the basketball court. You never know when that six-foot kid is never going to grow again. And now he went from a center down to a guard. It happened to me. Anyways, so let's get down. I got one more drill for you to check out. But just to add on really quickly for that last drill, anytime the low post player gets that ball for a layup, these outer players switch. Anytime the player passes out to the perimeter, they switch. I hope that's not too confusing. But you can always do different rotations that suit you as well as a coach. So now this next drill is another addition to the last one. So now we're going to have player 5 dribble across. And player 1, he's going to be popping up to that free throw line extended. Player 5 is going to be passing player 1 that ball. And player 5 is going to be going down into that low corner. And at this time, player 1 is going to be taking that shot. And player 3 is going to be passing out and contesting player 5's shot. Now, after player 5 takes that shot, what I want to see happen is player 5 to follow his shot and get both of those rebounds. Of course, there's probably going to be a coach or hopefully a coach there or a parent who can grab that rebound. Now, what would I want to see happen is player 3 to sprint over towards this far side, player 5 to pass the ball out to player 1, and now what we're going to have is, again, same thing happening on this side, player 1 cutting across, player 3 popping up, pass, cut, pass out, contest, shot, shot, and he gets that rebound. Now I hope that these basketball drills help your team run the dribble drive motion offense much better. As you can see, if you already know the basics of this offense, this, these drills are literally three drills that run through the whole offense. Now, when they get on the court, they essentially just put those three drills together into one, and you have yourself a full offense. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.